I'm going to do things a little differently here. Normally, I have a tripod that allows me to hold the camera directly over the machine as I work with it. Right now, I don't have that. That one that I was using before with my roommates, and since I'm no longer living there, I no longer have that tripod. Right now, you're just going to see everything that I'm working on. I've cut this video down to right now, it says four minutes and 38 seconds. It's going to be longer than that because this audio transcription is going to be before the actual video starts. Uh, but hopefully we'll get this done in under seven minutes. And yeah, pretty straightforward explanation. I did a recording of the T14 Gen 2 in the past, and that video was an hour long. And I'm thinking to myself, what exactly was I talking about for an hour? This video is less than five minutes. So clearly editing has gotten a lot better. Hopefully this is something that serves as a useful to you and anybody else who might want to watch it. Let's begin. So here we have the machine itself. I like to show this view because I like that Lenovo puts that piece of plastic in there in the event that you want to add a smart card reader later on. Dell and some other manufacturers, I don't believe I actually do that. You have to buy everything you need or you have to buy a whole new bottom housing. Here, I always use my handy dandy iFixit toolkit. This is actually the second one I've ever purchased. The first one that I have is in storage, so I had to buy a second one. Thoroughly enjoy using it. Flipping over the machine, we'll see that we have, what, I think, seven screws right there that we need to, to remove. They're all Phillips and they're all captive, meaning that they actually stay in the bottom housing. So that's always good to, 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 to see. With some other machines, you remove the screws and you got to find some place to put them. Not that that's the hardest thing to do, but it's nice when you don't have to worry about that additional stuff. So let's speed through this unscrewing process. I think we're going about five times the speed that uh, that is normal. Guitar pick comes in the iFixit toolkit. You want to get a find a, a nice space around the housing and the bottom shell to stick it in, go all the way around the perimeter. And at that point, you're able to simply remove it. Next thing we're going to need to do is remove the battery. There are, I think, four, uh, four, between four and six, I can't really see, but quite a few Phillips screws. These are not captive screws and that's fine. You just remove them and place them to the side. It's nice that they're Phillips screws and not something else. So I think I've been using the, the same screwdriver this entire time. Go ahead and remove that battery. Yeah, uh, don't worry about those things over there. Got that piece of plastic that I was referring to earlier. There are two Phillips screws. Again, it's nice that they're Phillips using the same screwdriver bit. Go ahead and remove those, then actually lift up that piece of plastic, get it out of there. Hmm. I guess I could have edited that down a little bit. Got the package in the mail. Little box. Piece of plastic holding it. Anti-static bag, I can imagine. We got the actual smart card reader itself, along with the ribbon cable that it comes with. Got the smart card reader installed. Got to go ahead and put those two screws in place to hold it down. Got the screws in place. Got to attach the ribbon cable. One end goes into the smart card reader, the other end goes into the motherboard. Got the ribbon cable installed. Next, got to replace the battery. Batteries installed. Replace the bottom cover. Bottom cover is installed. There it is. Bottom's kind of, top's kind of dirty now. Ugh, a lot of fingerprints and whatever that is. Now, it's going to be kind of hard to see. And in fact, I think I'm going to pause it somehow. But there was a quick screen right there that showed there was a... 
there was a, a quick screen right there that showed there was a configuration change. That's always good to see. So that way, you know, hey, well, you can, you can tell that the, the machine has said, hey, something's changed. We need to reboot and we'll go forth from there. Now we're doing our Windows update. Needs to download the new driver. And now that smart card reader appears in the device manager. Pretty straightforward process, done in hopefully less than six minutes.